Oh, for the, for the channel. Well, let's get it recording. That's recording. Oh, there's a good one. Doubled up on the reds. No bait, no bait, just a jig. Oh, that feels good. One red, two reds. Right there, baby. All right, this is it. We're doing it. Okay, I think I found the meat of it. I just sat down to make a new video for the last rockfish trip of 2022. And I got to thinking, what are the new rules for 2023? So I thought, oh, I'll look into that a little bit. Well, looking into it, it's kind of complicated. So, so I got to thinking, let's make a video real quick and kind of go over all the regulations in case someone isn't clear on what's changing. If this helps you, that's great. And then also, this is my interpretation of it. You should go to the regulations and make sure you're doing everything to the law yourself. That's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Also, I recommend you get a species identification card. You know, there's a lot of different kinds of rockfish and there's some really subtle nuances to the different fish. It's pretty easy to find a laminated card. Just stick it on your boat and keep it with you there just in case. You never know. Yeah, baby, that's a good one. That's a bank perch. That's a good eater right there. I'll be going over the ground fish regulations for Southern California. Basically rock fishing from Point Conception down to the U.S.-Mexican border. Something new for 2023 is that they removed sheephead and whitefish from the ground fish regulations. If you're going to fish those, you have to find the rules somewhere else. Kind of the summary for what's changed in 2023 is the seasons close longer. They took away depth limits, but they did introduce the 50 fathom contour line that's used for closures of different species. The, the fish species are separated into three groups with each groups having different species. In this video, we're going to cover the prohibited fish species. It's really good to know what you can't take. What is the rockfish season? where you can fish and when can you fish for these fish, what are the fish limits, and then also what happens when you want to fillet fish on your boat, what are the rules there? And then, oh shit, that's a nice one, Dave. That's a red. Dude, that's the, dude, that's the preferred species for me. There's some fish that you're never allowed to keep. Those fish are bronze spotted rockfish, cow cod, and yellow eye. If you catch any of those fish, you should have some means for lowering the fish down so that their swim bladder shrinks enough for them to swim home. So never keep a bronze spotted rockfish, a cow cod, or a yellow eye. No, no. It's better to start the watch. Watch, let them, just let them go. And then you just pull them apart. You gotta hold your pole over here. Kind of hold them separated. Oh, these are yours then. They're your fish, okay. Now for the new seasons, they're broken up into the three groups like we talked about earlier. So in January, February, March, you're not allowed to fish for the near shore rockfish and the other rockfish. April, May, June, July, August, September, so April through September, and it's actually September 15th, you can fish any rockfish with no depth restrictions. Then after September 15th to the end of the year, they close down the near shore rockfish, which is kind of defined as inside of the 50 fathom rockfish conservation area boundary line. From September 16th through the end of the year, you're allowed to fish the other rockfish in Lingcod, but only outside of the rockfish conservation area boundary line, that 50 fathom contour line. The third group of ground fish is pretty easy. You can fish them all year long in any depth. I wish it was all that easy. What I just described now is where and when you can fish the different rockfish but there's still exceptions to that. You have to make sure you pay attention to the other closures 
such as MPAs and other restricted areas. It's like once we find a good rock, it's like just go over it over and over and over again. Don't waste any time anywhere else, huh? So, what is the 50 fathom contour line that defines the nearshore rockfish conservation area boundary area? It's defined by a bunch of GPS points in the 50 CFR part 660 subsection C. But I kind of think of it as if I leave the harbor and head away from the beach. As soon as the depth drops to below 50 fathoms, I've passed that line. That's how I think of that. Oh, I'm on already. Oh, and it's a good one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> did you see, you see that? <laughs> oh, yeah. So for fish limits, I don't think anything's changed. If you know of something that's changed, let me know below in the comments. But I'm just going to go off of what the rule is for 2023. As, as I've always remembered it, you can have a 10 fish mixed bag of rockfish. But within that bag, you can't have more than one copper rockfish. I've always called them chucklehead. You can't have more than one quillback rockfish. And you can't have more than four vermilion rockfish, which I've always called reds. In addition, if it's in season, you can have two lean cod that have a 22 inch minimum length requirement. And you can have five sculpin as long as they're greater than 10 inches in length. There are some other regulations, but they hardly ever come up for me. But if you fish other stuff, check out the regs. Man, this is, this is life right here. Oh man. So you can fillet your fish on the boat. Again, I don't think anything changed this year, but I'll just go over what is in the 23 regs. You can't fillet, and this is only for ground fish, you can't fillet cabazon and greenlings, and you can't fillet leopard sharks on your boat. Other than that, you can fillet rockfish, any of the rockfish that are legal to take, but on the rockfish, all the skin must stay attached, and there's no minimum length to the fillets. Everything else you can fillet, but you need to leave a one inch patch of skin on the fillet. There's a couple fish that have a minimum fillet length, like lingcod, the fillet has to be at least 14 inches long, and sculpin, if you fillet them on the boat, the fillet has to be at least 5 inches long. It actually seems pretty simple. I think that about sums everything up. If I left something out or got something wrong, feel free to leave a comment down below. It'll be cool to start the conversation there. Other than that, good luck out there.